road. Let's right. check it. Let's check out this contraption you got going on with your kayak. I don't know. It's not the best, but okay. So, what you got going on here? I had I took a milk crate right here. Uh, drilled some holes through it. Took some PVC pipe. Cut a slot right through here so I could fit my fishing poles in there and zip tie to this, like milk crate, um, so I could put my fishing poles there. Uh, I got one coming out the back here for trolling. Oh, that's slick. Yeah. Uh, but I have all my tackle boxes in here. Um, I got my waterproof case in here, which is actually, I have a carabiner on it so it won't fall out. Do those water cases float too? Uh, yes. Oh, that's uh, slick. Same with these. These will also. Um, I got my hammer. Uh, I got my pliers, which are also hooked up to the milk crate. Um, I got my flag, so with no big boat to run over top of me. Um, but the way this crate is hooked up is just bungee cord to the side. Um, and I got my uh, net here, which is uh, hooked up. So it won't fall out either. So uh, if you do roll, that'll everything seems to be staying in place, and if it doesn't, it'll at least float. That's good. Yeah. Um, I used, I had these, which were for my fishing poles, but I always had to unhook them from this carabiner here, and it would just hang. So I got took some carabiners so I can just real quick hook them up to the sides and stuff. So, but yeah, that's my. So uh, this holds your fishing pole really well. Fishing pole, my tackle boxes, all that stuff. My pliers. I got extra tie downs on here for extra stuff. I love seeing that American flag on there too. That's pretty slick. Yeah, it actually lights up here, huh. but the battery is not in it right now. Um, I also have my hookup for my fish. So when I do catch fish, I have hookups. So. Hell yeah. Yep. That's slick. And you also had. I have how to decorate with some stickers. Got my uh, measuring tape on here. Stickers here and here. So, yeah. If you guys are wondering, this is a lifetime hammer rack. It's the type of the, the brand of the um, a kayak. So, but yeah. Right on. I'd love to see you take off on that thing. Okay. Check it out. Oh, you gotta have your life jacket on, especially once you're out in deeper water. So what's the depth here on the Joe? So on the St. Joe River, which is actually a famous fly fishing river, it's probably about, some spots almost 30 feet deep, and then some uh, shallower spots, you know, just 10 feet, 20 feet. Yeah, that's a good depth still. Yeah. If you go up the river farther, it gets a lot shallower. Is that where they do a lot of that fly fishing? Yeah, it's a lot. It's pretty rocky up there and stuff, especially up there by some what small do you, towns up there. What do you usually like to fish up the Joe? I normally fish, well down here on the deeper parts, I fish for pike, bass, and perch. Up there I uh, catch um, rainbow trout and some other trout, such as brown trout and stuff. But you can't catch these cutthroat because they are protected. Good to know, good to know. I'm gonna head down the river and stuff, so. Hey, happy fishing! What? Happy fishing! Yeah, see you guys later!